Hello, my socially sequestered friends. It is I, your art teacher, here sequestered as well, and ready to bring you another thrilling episode of Creativity Chomps with Mrs. Gregory, where we talk a little bit about art history and a little bit of its application. Our featured artist today is Raphael. I wanted to bring him up for this lesson because the date is so close to the 500th anniversary of his passing, April 6th to be exact, and I believe that one of the great tragedies of his death is that he passed away at a young age, he was only 37, leaving an infinite amount of possibility as to the work he could have created. He is considered to be one of the true greats of the High Renaissance. Raphael was born Raffaello Sanzio in 1473. His father was a painter as well, and he surpassed his father's skill at a young age. After apprenticeship, he moved to Florence, the high seat of art at the time, and studied the works of Michelangelo, da Vinci, and Masaccio, expounding upon their works in his own style. He painted a series of Madonnas, or Virgin Marys, that are all glorious to behold. He then painted in Rome, had several commissions for the Vatican, including the widely appreciated School of Athens, and he truly grew into his own persona. He also did architecture, building for the church in Rome, as well as palaces throughout the region. At the height of his fame, while still working on his largest painting commission, the Transfiguration, Raphael died mysteriously on his 37th birthday. His funeral was held in the Vatican, and his unfinished Transfiguration was placed on his coffin stand. His legacy of well-balanced and composed artworks shaped the face of painting for the next several years to come and is still felt and appreciated today. Raphael is sometimes called the Prince of Painters, and that royal title seems very apt. <laughs> 